everybody welcome to desi martini this is mahima and i'm so excited to introduce you to our guest to, uh, guest today the team of dasvi two actors who don't just play uh, roles on screen but actually breathe life into the characters mr abhishek bachan and miss nimrit kaur hello sir hello ma'am how are hi. you hi good thank, thank you, you. i'm so excited to see both of you here in white you're shining and <laughs> i am just in awe right now thank you thank you so i want to start off by congratulating both of you on the amazing trailer we have all loved it but i want to ask both of you how your near and dear ones like the trailer starting with abhishek sir amitabh bachan ji has already said ki abhishek hamare uttar uh, uttaradhikari hain what did the rest of your family think of the trailer so they've been very supportive and and uh, very forthcoming and sweet and uh, that makes me very very happy i do all that i do for my family and their reactions and emotions mean the world to me so I'm uh, very nervous because now they have to feel the same thing after seeing the film. So, fingers crossed. How about your daughter Radhya? What did she think? She liked it very much. Yes. Wonderful. Nimrit, ma'am, coming to you. What did your family think of the trailer? Well, they actually watched the film last night. <laughs> There was a screening wow. held yesterday here in Delhi, and they absolutely loved it. And they didn't know anything about it actually. You know, apart from what I was playing, they had some ideas, and uh, they really, really loved it a lot. uh but also they're very biased so i won't go exactly by what they said i was not really but. like the twist that your characters bring uh, brings in all of us and we saw in the trailer that's not exactly a spoiler it is wonderful how challenging was it for you i mean to shift from one personality to some, uh, suddenly another uh you know the challenge was not really the uh, the shifting of uh, you know the moving from one end of the spectrum to the other uh because i think the scenes help you with that you know and and the way you are reacting to the situation your co-actors and there is so much infrastructure that's around you you know you just have to show up and do your job as long as you know your lines uh what happens is that when you're reading the script that's the time that you know you kind of have to make sure that you uh create that world so for me it was not so much about becoming different people within bimmo and bimla devi uh, as much as making sure that nimrat doesn't show up of course nimrat will show up but <laughs> as far as possible i um, didn't want to really hear how i spoke or think how i thought how uh, think how i think uh, while i was playing that part so it wasn't really such a life or death kind of a challenging situation as much as um it was just fun i'll be very honest this is the most fun i've ever had playing something on camera and most fun being a character wearing the costumes and just being flamboyant and you know as a person i i'm not a flamboyant person i don't have the kind of flair a bimla devi has or the kind of uh you know unabashedness so i really enjoyed being that you know being unafraid to just Uh, enter a room and uh, not care about what you're saying to whom, and you know you just own it. So I really enjoyed that part a lot. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, now coming to the characters, the quirky characters that we have already started loving. Abhishek sir, I would like to ask you, how would you describe Bimla Devi, who brings extra ghee for you in prison? <laughs> well, she's Ganga Ram Chaudhary's wife, and uh, what I love about the two of them is. Um, no matter what there's this deep rooted respect for each other which is something that we don't really get to see very often um when you're portraying these kind of characters uh they both go have their own independent journeys in the film but at the end of it there's still a lot of love and respect for each other and i thought that was so refreshing um as you've seen in the trailer that you know they both start making life very challenging for each other because they've got very comfortable in where they are but despite that uh you know they understand that they're husband and wife and there's that basic respect that is still accorded to each other i think that was so nice and um how would i describe her i would describe her as the most fun character in the film i mean i remember telling nimrit when when she first agreed to come on board that mark my words you know this is going to be the best part of mm -hmm. the film for you because you've just got the most fun character i think she's the one character that goes with the maximum amount of change there's the there's a wonderful character arc that she has and she's just she's sucked the ball out of the park she's had you can make out that she's having fun with it and that's always such a pleasure as an actor to see when your co-star is truly just enjoying doing what they're doing and that that comes across there's it's not efforted at all and um she's she, you you're, you're going to leave the theater or leave you know seeing the film saying okay that was fun i enjoyed that portrayal so i i just think she's a very sumptuous character and is a lot of fun 
Great. Coming to Nimrat, ma'am, how would you describe Ganga Ram Chaudhary ji? Everything that Bimla Devi wants to be. <laughs> so for me, uh, you know, when I read the Bimla Devi part of you know the character, I was like, so she's living her best life being him, you know, because he's this flamboyant uh, guy, you know, where he where he starts, you know, he his journey. Um, and I don't want to say too much because I feel like there is a mystery about you know how uh, what the characters go through. Um, so for me, you know, it's almost like a life she wants to live because it's it's just so delicious to live that life, you know, because she's relegated to chores at home, you know, can't really, you know, doesn't have a way of being um, out there or doesn't have a way of expression even, you know, she's just afraid to even uh, uh, own a space uh, for that matter. She's a simple housewife, you know, does homey housey things and then suddenly she's a chief minister overnight. And she wants to be everything he's always been. And she's almost emulating him and trying to taste, uh, you know, what, what his life has been like. Um, and I'm, I'm talking purely as, you know, uh, the character being, uh, you know, that. And uh, yeah, so does that answer your question? Yes, yes. it does. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so yeah. coming back to Abhishek, sir, right before the trailer released, uh, you dropped a post on social media saying that you want to be unapologetic about the film. So where did that come from? What what made you do it? I think I just seen the film for the first time, so I think I got a bit swept away with the emotions of that. Uh, you know, I think as as actors, sometimes we're we, we're, we're a bit shy about talking about our work, and I think it just came from a place saying that I'm immensely proud of Tushar and the film that he's made. I'm very very proud of the film. I genuinely am and I think we've all worked very very hard and what's wrong in going out there and saying that yes we've made a good film as far as we're concerned we think it is. So I just wanted to put out that positive energy and, and try and manifest that into something much bigger. And I think that's where it came from. I think um, although you know we go on these extensive press tours and we talk about the film but somewhere inside we're still we're still a bit, bit scared you know we, you feel awkward it's like almost you know um, blowing your own trumpet, which contrary to popular belief, doesn't come very easily to actors. Um, so I think it just came from that, okay, we've done something, we're proud of it, let's go out and put out that energy and say, okay, we're going to be unapologetic about it. We've made a good film and we really hope you enjoy it. So that's where it came from. I think when we also read it, we kind of felt like you were emotional when you were writing it. I mean, there was something about it which was just so honest and just so raw, which made many of us, including me personally, I'm not promoting the film, but it really made me want to watch the movie. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Because of that post, because I'm like, the actors are so much connected to the script, to the story, and to the whole idea of just entertaining the audience. So that's wonderful. Oh, thank you. May I just add something? Yes, here? please. This was exactly my thought when I read that in the morning uh, of, of the day that he wrote that. And I've always felt as, as a fan of his work uh, that, you know, he's... Um, you, you know, he's someone who I think you're, you handle criticism, if I may say, much better than you handle uh, <laughs> praise, you know. And I feel like it is sometimes very important to give yourself a pat on the back and, and know that, you know, you've done, you've, you've done justice to something you've played and he's done a marvelous job. Thank in you. Film. I genuinely loved every moment that, you know, Abhishek comes on screen. I've seen the film a couple of times and you don't walk away thinking for a moment. Uh, you know, there's a vulnerability and a genuineness as an actor that I have sensed and felt uh, in the, you, you know, with the privilege of being opposite him in, in, in the frames. And that is a feeling, you know, you can't manufacture that, you can't uh, construct it. It is something you feel when you sit across an actor, when you look in their eyes and you know that, okay, you know, uh, they're actually feeling this and they're giving back what I'm giving them. And that, uh, that translates so beautifully on screen. And uh, if I may say, uh, this is one of the finest performances I've seen coming out of uh, Abhishek's uh, life oh, journey as an actor. Thank you. It is, it, it really is. It's remarkable and immaculate. While we are yet to see the on-screen chemistry, I'm absolutely loving this off-screen chemistry. The way you're praising it's, each other, it's so cute. Can I say that I can only have this uh, <laughs> opportunity here because <laughs> you know it, it's not often that you get to say this to each other. It becomes, you know, then you're just in your own worlds, you're chatting about other stuff, but these are the few moments that, you know, you get to speak and vocalize what what you really feel about your, uh, you know, 
actors that you journey with for short periods of time and poof, then you're gone. <laughs> That's so nice because we get to see Abhishek ji as his characters on screen. But thanks to you, now we are understanding what he is like in real life also on set. So like, that's one my, my my take on it. No, no, it's okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so coming back to the interview, my next question is for Nimrit ma'am. The last time we saw you in a film was Airlift. Yeah. After six long years, you're coming back again on our screen. Please cancel those two COVID struck years, na? So four years, yes? Okay, done. We canceled. We, never, we didn't get older by two years. Those birthdays <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> Nothing happened for two years. I like that idea. Let's go with the birthday right? thing especially. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cancelled, cancelled these done. two years. Done. Yes. Give it. So okay. four years? Fair. Four years. Coming back so, to the screen after four years. We right. missed you nevertheless. Right. And I just want to ask you, what was it about Dasvi that made you feel like, yes, I have to do this? The the world it come it it it's uh, it inhabits and I hadn't even heard the story I hadn't even even heard the whole script. Uh, the part was p pitched to me by Tushar, the director and the writer uh, Sandeep. Just a one line that you know she's so and so. She starts her journey here and she ends up becoming a circumstantial politician and a, a chief minister. And that was that. I was in. I said I'm playing this. I'm going to have fun with it. I'm on. Don't change your mind. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because it's a part that's been offered to me in a space that I've never explored. Uh, no one's ever come to me for comedy. I think I'm funny, but nobody has thought so far from, you know, Tushar until the time that, uh, 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 you know, he offered the film to me. Um, so it was really wonderful for me to, you know, uh, be given an opportunity that has uh, taken this long to come by. And within those four, four years after I left, I've done about four odd series, you know, some some abroad, some uh, one out here. So thus we should change that scene and you know, I would like to do much more work here, yes. <laughs> Great, okay. So I just have two quick questions and then we'll wrap it up because I know you both are busy. And okay, so uh, movie mein, hum dekhte hai ki Abhishek ji dasvi pass karne ki koshish kar rahe jo kafi mushkil hai. Dimla Devi ka alag scene chal raha hai. Lekin I want to ask you as actors, how difficult or easy was it for you to pass 10th, starting with Nimrat ma'am? It was difficult, yeah. It was like quite uh, traumatizing from the 9th standard only, you know, you're like, you're getting, you're sweating about 10th standard boards. So one had to study much harder. It, it seemed like a very big deal. The exams were, the examinations were treated very differently, different invigilators, different examination centers, all that. And to add to it, my birthdays were always in the middle of exams. So I hated exams. <laughs> I really have spent no birthday happily, you know, I've started celebrating my birthday after college. So I'm very happy that uh, I no longer have to take examinations and, you know, uh, relive those uh, sleepless nights. But they were some of the best years of, of one's life, no doubt. Wow. Abhishek, how about you? I was okay. I, I didn't stress that much. Okay. I not, don't take too much. much I, don't take, I, do, I don't take so much stress. Uh, weirdly, I... I it, the the importance of of it wasn't really never really dawned on me so i mean it was just another year we were studying you had to do Lovely. well and that was it wow. i enjoyed going to school you know um i enjoy learning I mean, till date i love you know gaining new information um you know it, it's something that really excites me so um i'm as actors we're sponges we're, we're keen observers of life and I think um, that's why you know, you, you're, you're always excited when you get to learn something new. But that's been something that's been, uh, some, you know, like a, a trait with me since I was a kid. So I, I really enjoyed school. I don't have like bad memories of school saying, hey, why you done that? There were particular classes that you didn't like, you know, I mean, mm. physics always went over my head. Uh, but I, I by and large, loved uh, going and learning. But um, which is a nice, subtle message uh, in our film as well. Uh, if I may, I mean, the film is not about a message and stuff, but if it is, is um, I, I, I say this a lot, and I'll say it here again if, if you don't mind. Um, I said this, th there's a big difference between being studious and being educated. It's better to be educated. It's, it's not necessary to be studious. So, I mean, marks to get ke liye sakte hain. But what have you learned? Mm. And how are you going to use that? That's more important. So, I, I was, you know, admittedly never very good at examinations. It was not that I failed, I was average to above average. Um, but I think I took out a lot more for my education than just the marks, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so that I think is important. Be educated. It's not important to be studious. 
I think I have goosebumps. So I'll just quickly come to my last question. How would you describe your film in just one word? Really quickly, the first thing comes uh, that comes to your mind. Entertaining. Yeah. Okay, great. Now that we have a review from the actors themselves, uh, I can take your leave. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank Pam. you. You are gorgeous. And sir, just hearing your voice, I'm falling in love again. So thank you so much for <laughs> your time you. and all the very best for Dasvi. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.